What up, homies? Thanks for tuning in for another beer review. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Bosh! And uh, we've got a nice strong one to review today, courtesy of a friend of mine and fellow YouTuber slash beer reviewer, Babbling Beer Reviews. Lee from Babbling Beer Reviews sent me a couple of beers, and this is one of them. I think he's trying to get me smashed off the old man breasticles because it comes in at 7.5%. ABV Mish, 7.5%. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. It is called Beheaded as well. So like a nice strong name <laughs> for a strong beer. Uh, it says hand brewed in Cornwall, award winning strong owl, European silver award winner in 2022. So yeah, got awards and all sorts. It's by the Caltech Brewery, of course, based in Cornwall. And that's where Babbling Beer Reviews is based. And he wants me to sample some Cornish beauties. And let me know, let him know what I think of them. So uh, I'll go ahead and do just that's a 500 mil bottle. Obviously I don't know how much it was cost because it was a gift. Have a little Google or whatever, you know. I don't know if they sell it in uh, shops or whatever. All I know is it got sent uh, to me door by the lovely Lee. Let's crack her own open and uh, see what she's all about. Bit of a plain bottle cap. Bit like the last one. It says, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Um, well, that's Chris and the new beer mat. Lee, what are you doing, mate? I bet you thought I'd send him that one. It always goes mad when you open it, the twat. Oh, wasted some of the beer. And the beer mat's not doing a very good job of absorbing the beer, I must say. Uh, but this is not beer, beer mat preview, is it? Uh, yeah, I've got no towel handy. So I might just... Oh, I've got a towel handy. Well done, whichever kid chucked that on the bloody floor instead of putting it in the washing bin. Done me a favour there. Right. Just soak up the worst of it. I'll tell you what, though. I'm getting some very nice aromas coming from the beer. Like a nice fruity uh, berry aroma. Let's chuck it in the glass, see what it looks like before we get on with the aroma. Probably wasted, I don't know, 50 millilitres of beer there. Let's have a look. There we go. We still got a decent amount of beer, thankfully. It probably wasn't as much as it looked. <laughs> I don't know, there's always a bit of drama, isn't there? I love it, don't you? Right, it's a very rather sexual, attractive looking colour. Um, I'm going to go for like a, a reddish amber colour. Uh, steady levels of carbonation. Nice, small, like, compact bubbles in the head. It's sort of like a off white, you could go tanned head. It's kind of in between two. I'm going to go off white because it sounds more posh. Right, let's get the nose in there and check out the aroma of Beheaded by the Celtic Brewery. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I'm definitely getting some berries. Oh yeah, that smells, it, it's got a fantastic aroma. Well, it does smell quite rich, I must say, and sweet. And there is a, a little uh, slight tingly, <laughs> tingling in the nostrils of alcohol. Uh, you can definitely smell that alcohol. And it's uh, just, you know, making me nost nostrils tingle a little bit. Probably burning me nose hairs. But yeah, I'm getting like berries. Mixture of berries. Quite like, quite a lot of cherry, actually. I'm going to say cherry is like the standout one. Nice cherry aroma. Nice sweet malts. A little bit of like a, 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 a nutty sort of thing going on as well. It's a bit nutty. Like toffee malts, a little hint of like a toffee malt as well. It smells absolutely lovely, but it might be a one and done for me as in the richness levels. To be honest, it's 7.5%. You're not gonna have many of them anyway. So, so what if it's a little on the rich side? Let's give it a try. Thank you very much, Lee, for the gift and to all you watching, cheers everybody. Bosh. Let's see if I think this beer is worth a buy. Oh, 
Oh yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But rich. Jesus, that's, that is quite rich. Cool. Beautiful cherry flavour to this beer. Really, I'm getting a, it's like a fruity flavour, like a mixed berries or something, but just the cherry really stands out for me. It's a really like ripe, fresh cherry taste. And uh, it's making the nipples quite hard. It's very, very nice. First impressions, it's 7.5%, but it, I don't think it really tastes 7.5%. It's quite easy drinking for the ABV. <clears throat> it's almost like drinking an old-fashioned bitter, but like a little bit stronger, like, you know. It's got sort of a medium body, nice, um, smooth mouthfeel to it. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, when I looked at it, it looked quite carbonated, but actually as you're drinking it, the carbonation feels quite gentle, which is nice. Although it has, it has settled down a little bit now, even looking at it. Um, let's go in again and indulge in some more of this beheaded. That fruit, the fruit is so rich, but it's really nice actually. And you just get a little touch of alcohol, but it's not in a bad way. For me, I'm glad it's there because it mixes so well with the fruits, if you know what I mean. Like, I think they probably could have hid that if they wanted to, but I believe that they've left that in there on purpose because it just goes so well with the uh, sweet malts in this beer. Very, very nice. Getting a, a little touch of like caramel toffee sort of thing going on. I'm not sure whether it's caramel or toffee or perhaps a little bit of both. I can't really tell between the two. But the star of the show, without doubt for me, is that cherry fruity alcohol sort of taste. It's very, very nice indeed. Um, very, very nice. But it is sweet. I could probably only have one, but I'll really enjoy that. Just that one, if you know what I mean. It's one of them sort of beers. Just one, but you probably wouldn't drink it like a natter like I am now. One to savour, just to sip away at and appreciate all the different flavours. I mean, that's the whole reason that I didn't chill this one as well. I just stuck it under the cupboard, keep it sort of room temperature-ish. And um, really brings out them flavours. And it's absolutely beautiful. There's a very gentle bitterness on the end, nothing major. Little like nutty tones that you can just sort of pick up here and there that go really well. And sort of like a, when you when you blend it with the berries and that, you're getting like a nutty fruitcake sort of vibe to this beer. Um, and grandma's nutty fruitcake where she's gone mental with the alcohol. <laughs> No, the alcohol is not that strong tasting. It's a very pleasant alcohol -y taste. Um, but you get you get that slight bitterness on the end, but you've got like a fruity linger. And it's giving it like a bittersweet overall finish for me. And it's very, very nice. Um, and then you're left with a linger. But it's not like a bit of lingo, it's like a touch of brown sugar or something that just sort of lingers on the end. Yeah, it's very indulgent, it's very rich, it's very flavoursome, it's very nice, as I say. But for me, only the one, uh, that's all I need. It's like very old fashioned and comforting about this beer. It really is a class, class beer. So I'm going to give it a class score of 9 out of 10 from Zibia Monster. Oh, but yeah, next time I'd probably savour it. I'm just trying to get it all down me because I want to see if it becomes too rich or not. And uh, yeah, I think I would just have the one. But perhaps if I didn't drink it like a freaking elephant, it wouldn't have got so rich. So I don't know why I've done that really. But uh, yeah, get a quick buzz, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Beerly and thank you for watching everyone. 
and uh yeah hit the like button if you made it far and if you enjoyed this review hit the dislike button if you think it was a load of old shit and until next one guys bye bye darlings